As most of you know, Season 3 for Patful 2042 went live today and after playing for a few hours on the new map with the new specialist and the new weapons, I think it's time to do my review. Starting off with a new map called Spearhead, it's by far the best looking map we've gotten so far in my opinion. To make things even better, it doesn't only look truly amazing, it also plays fantastic. The action inside the big cubes is phenomenal, to the point that it's even better than Stranded. And outside the big cubes, you have plenty of small hills, small paths between those rocky hills, allowing to pretty much play with whatever weapon you like. You can play with a sniper, you can play with a DMR, you can play with ARs, you can play with SMGs. And if you play the right way, you're still going to be successful. It's clear now that people working on maps have figured out what was wrong with the lands maps, thank God. And every season we get an even better map. The new tank is much better than the old tanks. It has better mobility, but also the capability for very high damage. It all comes down to using the two modes that it comes with, the siege mode and the mobility mode, the right way. It also comes with an advanced threat detection system, which allows your gunner to take down incoming missiles, improving its survivability. Moving on, PC players with high-end systems received a pretty decent FPS boost, since the game now seems to be using your CPU in a much more efficient way, allowing to see more FPS on your end. Some people said that their FPS increased by 50 to 70 after today's update. Sadly, on my end, with my i7 8700 and my GTX 1080, I didn't notice any improvements. If you allow me to complain here for a second, even though I'm happy for PC players with high-end system receiving more FPS, it looks to me like a performance boost for systems that are struggling the most was needed much more than a performance boost on systems that play already with pretty high FPS, like getting an FPS boost for PC that run 3080s and 3090s obviously is great, but at the same time, in my opinion, the priority should be for the systems that are struggling, not the ones that are doing already pretty decent. Hopefully, in a later update, lower-end systems will receive the same sort of performance boost. And that's pretty much for the good news about Season 3. Sadly, the new weapons and the new specialists are once again really underwhelming, just like Season 2, maybe even worse than Season 2. The new railgun will be very powerful for the top players who have insane aim, since they can one-shot people with headshots, but for average players I think it's pretty bad. The new specialist comes with an airburst rifle that takes a lot of hits to kill enemies, but also works in a really weird way. You have to change the range every time you aid at a different enemy, otherwise your rounds won't even reach that enemy. Really underwhelming stuff in my opinion. Throwing knives and shotguns, obviously, are nice additions, however, in my opinion, you know, getting better assault rifles or better DMRs or better SMGs would be a much better idea than giving us throwing knives and shotguns. For people asking if it's worth coming back to the game or getting it for the very first time now, my, in my honest opinion, you might actually enjoy it. Sadly, after playing the game since launch and for almost 300 hours to this point, I'm really over it. Like, yeah, the new map is cool and everything, but I think I just had enough of this yet. I went through all the phases, Lance honeymoon phase, anger when I realized all the issues with the game, then disappointment, then false hopes for season 1, more anger and more disappointment after the release of season 1, even more false hopes for season 2, skipped anger though, uh, after season 2 I wasn't angry, I was just disappointed, and now with season 2, I, I just don't care anymore. I played for five, six hours, and I was like, okay, like, nothing changed in my opinion. Yes, the new map is fine, but it's not enough to keep me playing the game. After all, after all this time that I've struggled to actually keep myself playing the game, getting one new map is not gonna cut it. I will probably be back with update 3.1, which will introduce the class system and the reworked version of Manifest, but until then, I really don't find a reason to keep playing this game. As I said, that's because I gave up on it. It's been a year, I've had enough, I just can't be bothered with it anymore. Yes, they fixed the mouse input after one year that the game has been horrible. Yes, the new map is good, but for one year I've been playing in very bad map. So if you're somebody who has been playing all this time, I don't think you're actually going to be, you know, super excited about the new season. Yes, it has some new additions. Yes, it comes with some nice content, but at the end of the day, it's not enough to make up for all the shit you have to go through the last 12 months. If you haven't played the game in a very long time, I'm fairly sure that you will enjoy it more than me, so you might as well give it a shot. Make sure to leave a comment down below, guys, letting me know what you guys think about Season 3. Thank you for watching today's video. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.